Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back to film a weekly check-in. I am going to be checking in for week three of my September budget which is going to be from the 13th until the 19th and yeah that's what I'm going to be doing today. Also I realized this while I was editing my last weekly check-in video, but I never inputted hair dye. I know, I, th I think this was just kind of blocking it, which is why I didn't see it, but I already did make the change in my weekly spread. So I think I can go ahead and check this off already. It's really funny because I obviously didn't realize while I was filming the video, but as soon as I was editing it, I caught it. So that's all that matters and it's fixed. So the first thing I will do I think is going to be laying down my budget expense sticker. So I have them here. Decided to just lay them down on camera. So I have all of the different categories here as you guys can see for all of those expenses for this week. Okay, so I'm gonna take a look. I'm going to take a look at my expense trackers here in my pocket planner and I'm gonna go right through them. So let me start with what I have on top here. So I have groceries. I purchased groceries on the 19th, so this Sunday. And I already know that I'm going to have a ton of these on this day. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to lift these up a little bit. Well, let's see when we get to that, but I do have quite a bit of expenses on the 19th. I think it really ha just has to do with the fact that I was busy throughout the week, so I definitely spent the most money like on the weekend since those are the days that I'm off. So I spent $68.19 on groceries. I went to both Target as well as Superior with my mom. I actually went with her that night. Then let's see, I'm gonna move on to household. For household, I have another expense on the 19th. So I have one of these like fog colored budget expense stickers. This was for Target, but of course these were more household items. Like I know I had to buy wipes, detergent, softener, and a few other things that I needed. So that was on the 19th and I can already see that I'm going to have to take this date dot off. So I'll just do that. Okay, so what else do I have? I'm going to say I really don't have many transactions any other days, like during like the weekdays, especially the first ones, but then after, it's where they start getting kind of crazy. I have two eating out expenses. I have one on the 17th. I went to Islands with my friend Karen and her friends. This was the day that I helped her out with moving into her new studio apartment. And so we ended up going to Islands right after, and that was $29.73 out of eating out. And then the second eating out expense was on the 19th once again. I went to Earth Cafe, that was 2019. I went with my friend Paula and her cousin Jocelyn right after the beach boot camp. I know I've mentioned it and I'm actually going to be getting a vlog up pretty much of this weekend, starting with like getting my nails done. I'm pretty sure right after this video. So definitely stay tuned if you guys would like to see a vlog. So that was on the 19th and that's it for eating out. And then on the 17th, I took out $20 for my allowance category to pay for the beach boot camp. So that was $20 and all that money I believe went to charity. So I felt really good about that. And it was such a great workout. It was at the beach once again, and it was very extreme. I have like, a, maybe I have like a few clips in the vlog of the actual beach boot camp, but of course I was kind of busy um, working out, but that was on the 17th that's when i paid frankie my trainer and on the 16th this was the day that i got my nails done so i'm using one of these september budget expense sticker colors which means that this expense is out of my beauty category and these are the nails that i got they actually ended up being $90, so that is what I have there. It's definitely cheaper than I've gotten them in the past because they are more on like the basic side, but I really like them and I, I know you guys seem to like them as well. 
And then the last beauty expense is on the 19th. I bought a mascara from Target. So this is when I'm going to go ahead and lay them down a little bit higher. BRB. This usually never happens, but it just has to do with the fact that I also had a bill due that day, which I could have totally laid it down on the 20th. But since I am tracking like no spend days, I just decided to leave it like so. It's gonna go a little bit over the 12th, but that's okay. Let me see if I can do this better without the tweezers. That works, okay. So, those are all the expenses on the 19th. And then last but not least, I have a gas expense. I finally pumped gas this month on the 16th, the day I went to get my nails done. So that ended up being $44 with 38 cents. And I'm using a purple budget expense sticker color. And now I can go ahead and lay down some no spend and payday stickers. As you guys can see, I did not spend any money in the very beginning of the week because I think, no, yeah, I was really busy this week with like orders and stuff. And then I'll lay down the no spend stickers on the days that I didn't spend any money. So those would be on the 13th. I might need to grab another sheet. On the 14th, the 15th. I have a bigger sheet here of no spends. I do sell both the smaller and the bigger sheets in the shop. And then the last no spend day was on the 18th. So I had four no spend days this week, definitely better than the weeks prior. So that makes me really happy. So now that I have all those laid down, I'm going to I'm going to bring you guys to the weekly check-in spread, which once again, we're checking in for week three. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. So let's write out my categories. I have groceries. Household, eating out, allowance, beauty, gas, and an unbudgeted category. And then we'll draw dashes here for the rollover section because um, I only roll over in the very first week. If you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that. So, okay, let's go ahead and start checking in. So for groceries, I have, like I mentioned, one expense and that was $68.19. And as you guys can see, last week I had remaining 6117. So that means that I went over my budget for the month of September already. Not even like, no, a little bit more than halfway through the month, which is crazy, but it makes sense because I was looking at the budget for August and like all of my groceries spending because I was thinking like, why, why am I over already? Like it makes no sense. But as you guys know, I went on vacation in the month of August and that was the first month that I moved into my new apartment. So it's just changes that I have to keep track of. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have the perfect grocery budget up until like maybe the end of the year once I've seen the patterns and everything. So yeah. I am over so far because this was from the 13th until the 19th. So, so far I am over by $7.02. And two cents. I'm just gonna write it with this. So $7.02 and two cents over in groceries in the third week. And then household. And then for household, I spent $51.66 at Target. 51.66 and last week or the week before that I had 58.16 so remaining I have six dollars and fifty cents which this is an okay amount for me because I've already gotten everything that I need for household for the rest of the month so I think I'm doing pretty good with that eighty dollar budget so far who knows what's gonna happen like during the holidays but that's what I have for household. Then for eating out, I have $20.19 for Earth Cafe. 
and 29 at 73 for islands. So together I've spent 49.92 so far. And last week I had 87.70. So remaining after week three, I have 37.78 left. Next for allowance, I spent $20 for the beach boot camp, which I just took out of my allowance envelope. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing that. I've actually been really, really debating whether I want to keep doing the semi-private personal trainings just because it is $35 per session. And this past week, my sessions were funded already, so that's why I didn't put them in here. I didn't have to pay for them. But I'm really thinking about if I want to include a budget for that in the month of October. So $20 spent for an allowance. And I had 65 left remaining last week. So after week three, I have $45. Then for beauty, I have two expenses, one for my nails of $90 and for a mascara and that was $10.19. That is a total of $119 spent from beauty. So remaining for the month, I have $91 with 19 cents. I mentioned this, but I am, well, at the time that I'm filming this video, I'm out of eye cream, so I'm going to use that money for that. As well as I think I'm going to buy myself a new concealer. I'm running really low. I also need foundation, but I might just end up waiting for that until October because October is almost here, so that's what I'm thinking, but I will be using this money that I have remaining, so that's great. And then last but not least, because I know I don't have any unbudgeted stickers, there's no red stickers here. I have one for gas, which I'm also going to check off my bill due here. My internet bill was actually less than I thought it was going to be. I don't know why I thought it was going to be $80. It actually ended up being $74.99, which I think that sounds more like what it should be. So I'll check that off too, since that did, you know, get paid. So for gas, I spent $44 and what? 30 38 cents and since this was the first time that I spent you know for gas I'm going to subtract it minus what I budgeted for the month which is $80 so remaining I have $35 and 62 cents like so and then once again we'll just put zero here for the unbudgeted category because I did not spend any Thing, although I was over budget in groceries since it has a specific category that's the main reason why I don't go ahead and put it in here as an unbudgeted expense and just go ahead and put it as me being over in that category if that makes sense so these are all the numbers that I have remaining and what I've been over to be honest I'm not going to lie I am probably going to be even more over budget in groceries because I make I would say most of the meals that I eat at home, so I, I need groceries. I'm not just not going to buy them, you know, not eat. But as for the rest of the categories, I think I'm doing great, and I'm really happy with everything, but of course groceries. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this section. I will show you guys my sinking fund spread, but to be honest, I don't think I spent anything like that particular week on week three but just i did not but these are like the categories and the transactions that i've had so far if you guys wanted to see but i did not spend any money from sinking funds mainly because i had already spent quite a bit from like categories like miscellaneous and girls night yeah i don't have i don't think i had any more money left there if i had more money in miscellaneous i would have probably used that for the training sessions but i didn't so that's why i just used my allowance category and then last but not least yeah nothing going on for variable income either I feel like this is the most boring weekly check-in ever, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along and seeing what I've spent so far in the month of September. I will definitely 
try to film one more weekly check-in video so week four so then that way week five can be for my budget results Mm, so definitely expect another weekly check-in video in the next few days I also have a vlog coming up and I want to film a plan with me because I didn't film on last week so yeah go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already and hopefully I will see you guys on my next video bye guys